Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a best friend in two minutes. This is called the meet and greet. If you can get this down, you will be unstoppable. Check it out. Okay guys, check it out. This is gonna be a video about the meet and greet. So let me explain this to you. I don't care if you have an eight step process, 12 step process, two step process, 20 step process. The meet and greet is number one. Now we are talking about live, face to face. This isn't gonna be phone training. This is gonna be live face to face. Whenever you meet somebody, this is really important for you to think about. You're either gonna meet a typical salesperson or a person who's a master in the field. I'm gonna go over both of these types of salespeople with you in this video. I'm gonna to explain to you how the typical salesperson works, the way their mind works, why they don't achieve great things, and I'm gonna show you how a master, when he's going out to shake somebody's hand, he's envisioning how the deal's gonna go where she is, and they get it to go their way. They keep massive control, and it all starts at the meet and greet. And by the way, let me just say this real quick. Do you guys wanna be closers? Do you? Do you wanna be one of the best closers in the world? When do you start closing? Is it at the end when it's time to present numbers? No, you start closing right at the gate when you shake their hand. You're closing them on that you're the person that they can do business with, that they want to do business with, and that they're gonna do business with. Now let me talk about a typical salesperson for a minute. And what I'd like you to do is take lots of notes during this video, but do this. Guys, let's take the timeline of when you say hello to somebody up until the final end when you close them during negotiating, okay? Now the first three seconds, the first three seconds, you gotta take control right out the gate. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy, how you doing, ma'am? How you doing? By the way, beautiful family, welcome to my home. So glad you're here. That's not a typical salesperson. That's a master. You know what a typical salesperson looks like? Hey, how you doing? My name is Andy. So what, so what brought you guys into the dealership? Okay, okay, are you here to see anybody? No, all right, well, I'll be helping you today and um, what, what are you looking for? Eh, come on, man. I know who you are. Listen to me. Let me say something. You don't have to have my type of energy. You don't. You just need to listen to what I say. I'm going to show you how not to be a typical salesperson in the first three seconds. Carry the confidence, okay? Carry the confidence. Carry the certainty in your eyes, in your face, and in your posture. When you go out and say hi to them, that you're the person that can help them. How about we start there? Nothing has even happened. I'm walking out to you. How do I look? How, how do I feel about myself? They can buy, they're gonna buy, and they came to buy as long as I do my job. Is that what I'm thinking? Or am I coming out desperate, right? Hoping that I've got the write up for the day and that person's gonna buy something. Where's your mind at? They can see through your eyes right when you walk up, you hadn't even said hello. In the first three seconds, have your mindset right. Have the certainty through the roof. Have that fire in your eyes that you love dealing with people and you're passionate about taking care of people and solving problems and that you can do it. And if they see that in you, you know what'll happen? They'll believe in you. And if they believe in you, they'll buy from you. It's that easy. Now, right out the gate when you say hi, a lot of people skip steps. Let me explain what that means. Hey, how are you doing? My name's Andy. What's your name? My name's Don. Don, how you doing? Welcome to the store. How can I help you today? Andy, I'm looking for a truck. Great, we got lots of trucks. Let's check them out. They're right here. We walk out to the lot. Where was the common ground? Tell me, did I skip steps right there? When I said hi, okay, did I build a relationship with that person? Did I get to know him? Did I ask him, where did you drive in from today? Where are you from? Let me ask you something. Did you see something on the internet? Or was you just driving by? Did I go through any of that with him? Did I get a chance to shake every single person's hands, their kids' hands also? Did I get a chance to shake the people's hands who didn't get out of the car, who are still sitting in there? Which, why did they come? They might be co-signing. You better get your stuff together and slow down. Typical salespeople say hi, move fast. By the way, what is your customer's goals? To get you to speed up and move fast. You know why? The faster you move, the less of a relationship we build, the easier it is for me to negotiate with you because we don't know each other. And then also on top of that, what else would it be? People buy from people that remind them of their friends. You know what that means? I'm gonna ask you, what's your best price? You're gonna give me a price that makes it make sense for me to stay and buy because I'm only here for the price. I don't care about you because who are you? We haven't built any rapport with each other. So I want you to think about it for a minute, okay? Typical salespeople, they skip steps every time. 
They skip steps. Don't skip steps. This meet and greet building common ground, this is one step. This video is one step that you will have to master if you want to increase your year to date and go through the roof. I will assure you, you mess up on this step, get out of the business, okay? This is the most important step in the world. Number two, the customers want you to move fast, don't. So what are you gonna do right off the gate? You're gonna put your back to the lot. Why would I put my back to the lot? Because I'm not opening the pathway for them to go run out on the pavement. Once they do, they're scattered like mice. Now I'm gonna chase them all down. How can I help you? Can I get you some keys? What do you need? Do you like that one? Oh my God, is that how you wanna do business? No, put your back to the lot, slow down. So guys, tell me what's going on. Where'd you drive from today? Where? Oh my God, I love that place. Yeah, that's awesome. Tell me about it. Have you guys been there a long time? Get them to talk. People that talk about themselves will automatically build a relationship with you because people like to hear themselves talk. Get them speaking, okay? I know you got a mouth. You think you're the best salesman in the world and you think you running it is the way to go. It's not. Listen, number one, they're gonna tell you how to sell them, but number two, the more they talk, the more comfortable they become with you. Don't let them move fast. Look, don't let them go straight to the lot. They say, hi, what's your name? This is what I'm looking for. We got some over here. Let's go check them out. That's too fast. I'll walk straight up to a truck. I'll be like, hey, what's the price on this one? Uh, I think it's uh, 38 dollars Cool. What would they sell it for? Uh, we'll have to go in and talk to my manager. Why don't you go run in and ask him? Dude, you want to get treated like that? You want to? Do me a favor. Don't build a best friend with them. Be a typical salesperson. You'll get that. You'll get lots of it. You want to never have that happen? Build a best friend. Now, I'm going to go over what a master salesperson does here in a second, but I'm going to continue. Uh, a typical salesperson doesn't shake everyone's hand. They don't. Let me explain this to you, okay? The wife, the husband, the kids, the nanny, the guy riding in the back of the truck, I do not care. If somebody came in with that person, if somebody came in, you're shaking everybody's hands. I mean, I'm not the best at like predicting what's going on in a scenario, but I'm pretty sure that if someone's at a car lot, they're there for a reason. There's somebody that's gonna be making a part of a decision in a minute. And by the way, you may think, man, that person's not gonna do anything. It's just the kid, it's a teenager, right? Why would I shake the teenager's hand? The car's for mom and dad. Why would I shake the teenager's hand? Let me tell you why. You don't build a good report that teenager, you know what's gonna happen after about 30 minutes? Minutes, once the parents did find a car they want, you know what the teenager wants to do? Go home. They don't want to be at the car lot anymore. And guess what? You just lost the deal because you didn't rebuild or report the teenager. I'm going to be like, okay, how you doing? Hey, by the way, sir, ma'am, how you doing, kids? Okay, and by the way, knock, knock, knock on the window. Hey, what's your name? Oh, Tanya, that's cool. Hey, so you in high school or what? Okay, awesome. Is this for her? No, this isn't for her. Well, listen, when she's ready, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have your parents buy you whatever you want. Lamborghini, I don't care. I'm just kidding. Listen, hey, I'm glad she's here. By the way, you don't have to wait in the truck, Tanya. If you want, you can go inside. Look, hot cup of coffee, cold water, I got a couch, go play on your phone. Go sit in the back of the truck, come on inside. Would you guys mind if I brought Tanya inside? That way she can kind of sit down and chill out while we're out here on the lot, would that be cool so she doesn't have to wait in the truck? Is that okay with you guys? Awesome, also I got a vending machine in here. Guys, let me walk her in here real quick. Boom, I just took care of Tanya. Who is she? She's a teenager that could potentially ruin the deal for us here in about 30 to 45 minutes. By the way, if Tanya likes me, right, and I brought her inside, I treated her great. I showed her what massive love went and helped her parents find a vehicle. When we come back in, I'll say, Tanya, I'm moving your parents as fast as possible. Don't worry about it. I'm going to be quick at my job. Okay. Also, when we're done, I got something for you, Tanya. I got something for you. Okay. You're going to be needing a car. I got something for you. Woo! Tanya's like, I like this guy. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just a teenager, but she doesn't want to go home. Now, some of you, you're watching this right now, and you're saying, man, this isn't, this isn't real life. This is real life. You know how many deals that I've seen missed because somebody didn't shake somebody's hand in a car? You know how many deals that I've seen missed because somebody sat in a car for too long while someone else was looking for a car? Somebody got tired of being at the car lot? Trust me, you'd get tired too. You know how many deals that I've seen missed because somebody didn't build a rapport with everybody? There was one person left out and you underestimated what that person was there for. 
but you underestimated who everybody was. But the grandma, the one that you didn't really say anything to because it was the, grunt, the grumpy grandma, right? She was the one co-signing the entire time. But they didn't say that in the beginning because they wanted to try to buy the car on their own. But when you got inside and you realized that they couldn't buy and you tried to you know, say who's gonna co-sign and they say, well, my, maybe my grandma. And then you go out to grandma, she don't like you. She would like me, I promise you. You know why? Because I'm not a typical salesperson and neither are you. From this point forward, you're not gonna skip steps. You're gonna make sure that you don't move fast. Typical salespeople move fast. You're gonna make sure you don't go straight to the lot. You're gonna slow down, put your back to the lot, build a best friend, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that here. You're gonna shake everybody's hand, everyone, and you're gonna make sure you build rapport with them, okay? And then lastly, okay, you're going to build a strong relationship. Have you ever heard the term, people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care? Have you ever heard the term, if you haven't, write it down. People don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. Okay, so I'm gonna explain this to you, right? When I show people massive love, when I comp compliment them sincerely, right? When I'm being kind to them, when I show them that they're important, what do people want to feel? Significant. They want to feel important. I'm going to make them feel important, right? What happens when I do all that? And I build that great, strong relationship with them right out the gate. Guess what? Number one, I have control. Number two, I have a best friend and within two minutes, they want to adopt me and take me home because they like me. Number three, nobody feels left out. And guess what? Number four, it's time for me to do my job. Here's the kicker. I can do my job way better when they like me. Also, people are judging you when they pull up. Remember that. They're pulling up to a car lot. When they meet you, they're going to judge you right off the gate. Any kind of sales game, they're going to judge you right off the gate. Here's the deal. Tear the wall down. Tear it down. Get rid of it. And at the end of the day, look, if you went to a Starbucks right now, Starbucks, and somebody was taking a survey, what do you think about salespeople? People be like, robbers, thieves, cheats, liars. Dude, no, man. What would they say after they met you? You see, my customers love me. I give them a show worth paying for, and guess what? Every time they buy off me, they wanna buy every car they buy off me for the rest of their life. You know why? Because I build strong relationships, and I'm good at my job. And I wanna make sure when they come in, they get treated at the highest level. So what do you have to do right out the gate? The meet and greet has to be building common ground and you have to show them that you're the person that can take care of them. And guess what? It's not only you showing them, they have to feel that you're that person.